Hey guys, in this video we'll review another three objectives for the MO100 exam and namely we'll work with tables. So create table based on text, convert tables back into text and create tables by specifying rows and columns. Before we start, I encourage you to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new training content and if you find this video useful, please smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. So let's begin with the first objective, which asks us to convert text to tables. You can see that I have some sample text here. And this text is actually separated with tabs. We can see that when we show hidden symbols. So this arrow signals a tab. And this text is separated with commas and a space. So let's convert this to a table. We go to the insert tab, click table, convert text to table. Now you can see that based on the number of lines selected, Word automatically recognizes that our table will have three rows. We can also set the number of columns, which is now correctly set to 3. There are options for auto-fit behavior, like fixed column width with auto, fit to contents and fit to window, we'll leave it as it is, and separate text at tabs, which is nice. So let's click OK. And now this is our table. Let's do the same for the comma separated text. So insert, table, convert text to table, separate text at, at commas. Okay. And that's it. The next objective is to convert tables back into text. To do that, click into your table and go to the layout context tab. Here on the right, you have the option to convert to text. Choose separate text width, so commas. OK. Perfect. We can do the same for our table that was previously separated with tabs. So layout, convert to text, separate text width, tabs. OK. And the last objective is to create tables by specifying rows and columns. We go to insert tab, table. Now you can specify the rows and columns in this need grid, or you can choose to insert a table and specify it here. Let's click OK. And that's it. So yeah guys, that is all for today. I hope you find it useful. If so, smash that like button and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!